Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, women, men, boys and girls. This is Bear, going to bring you a short video today and a series of follow-up videos on my VSL supplies and the upgrades I have made to it as well as contents and upgrades I have made to the contents. So first let me get this up on the stand and out of my face so we can go ahead with the beginning of the outside upgrades I've made. So, first thing I added was this strapping material, big enough for my hands, big enough for somebody's hands that are bigger than mine that I like to tease quite often when I make statements. And uh, his name will not be said, but you ought to go check out Gray Wolf Outdoors on Facebook. Good group, good owner wonderful people in there. So, now that I've made my plug for one of my friends, strapping material is secured with the paracord that I've also added to add a greater amount of cordage to this kit. It's about 35 feet of paracord, just a simple wrap. Come back through, tie the knot, come up through and tie another knot in a loop so that I can hold it an additional way and yet another loop so that I can hang it from something like a tree or branch, a uh, bush branch or multiple ways. I don't know, maybe a camp chair. So the basic things that come with the kit. It has a button here, it says long press for on. Now you can't see. Dimmer and SOS flash. Built-in flashlight on this particular model. It also has a built-in compass. We all know I don't use compasses, but no way to get that where you can see it and still uh, show you it's pointing north, but it's pointing north. You'll just have to take my word for it. You unscrew the top, and at the very top, I keep my beeswax candle that comes with it. It also comes with a little explanation set of paperwork, everything that's in it, and what it is, but I classify this as tender. has a first aid tin has a rope and razor blade tin a wire saw tin a fire starter with mirror tin Trail marker and whistle tin. Can opener and water purification tin. And a fishing tackle tin. Both ends of the tube unscrew. and they have a, a gasket to keep it as waterproof as it can be. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this first segment, basically because Baxter says he wants to go in the house, and I need to set stuff up so that you can see these kits and my upgrades. 